Hey guys, through here with another bit for Blender. This one's gonna be a quick sci-fi challenge, so we're gonna be moving quickly and ferociously, okay? So select this edge and just let's share for this. Let's go to top view, grab an angle and cut and do something like this, and maybe bevel this a little bit as well, then press X three times to go to inset and let's apply this. I'm gonna grab this shape and mirror this and we're gonna apply a bevel. I'm gonna apply weighted normals and switch uh, these values here. So shift two to hide this. Now this bevel needs some work, so go to bevel, press one, make this a bit smaller, so it's not so obnoxious. And uh, let's in fact apply this. So apply um, apply the cut, and let's grab this edge and uh, chamfer this. Or we need to connect this to here like that. And we're gonna bevel this here. Boom. That's awesome. Okay. Looking good. Now we're going to grab a box and cut it in here. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'm just gonna cut it like this. And press B for bevel and Q for quad bevel. And so uh, let's press Shift Z. And let's just extrude this one here and sharpen this. And then we don't really need these bevels here on sides, but you know what? Let's keep them. So let's bevel this one here a little bit like that. We're gonna move them a little bit on the side, mirror this across here so it's gonna look better. Let's remove this mirror and uh, keep this mirror on and mirror this one across. There we go, that's better. Um, let's um, cut this a little bit so it's gonna be a bit more fun to look at. Um, select this and X three times and then press T for solidification and let's do something like this. Let's sharpen this. Uh, awesome. And now we can cut it in here. So uh, let's uh, let's cut it through with a box. Um, so we're gonna have a parameter inside. Switch to cut and um, cut something like this here. Press B for bevel. Boom. Um, and we're going to uh, drop kind of like a you know a cylinder over there. Okay, so let's make it smaller. Go to front view and move it in here and put it somewhere in the middle, more or less. Make it a bit smaller. Extrude it like that and GY move it in here. Press uh, sharpen and then let's bevel this a little bit as well. Let's apply scale and select these two faces and you know, create something like this, select this and this and E, cancel, alt, S and, you know, boom, right? And move it to the other side. Okay, so we got something like this. Cool. Now, so let's grab this shape on the bottom and uh, curve extract it down and sharpen. Um, let's uh, remove the mirror because we don't need it. What we do need is weighted normals. And uh, we're gonna mirror this like this, and then operations multiply. We're gonna make it bigger, but before that, we're gonna move a geo here, the origin point. And this didn't really work the way I wanted to. Um, so I'm going to move it a little bit to the front, like that, and then move it up. Uh, awesome. And then select this, and you know, combine these two faces. Select them both and scale them a little bit and remove faces. And we need to run a face in the middle. So F and, you know, just fill this up with faces. Cool. And sharpen. All right. Awesome. Now we're going to run some stuff through it. So let's make it a bit thicker and we're gonna run another cut through it like this, okay? And we're gonna scroll this up and go to Angon, turn off side click and press T. And you're gonna create stuff like that, okay? Go to front view and boom, all right? Awesome. Mirror to the other side and Bob Jankel and now here on this side, what we're gonna do is cut it with uh, cut it with a box. So switch to box and press K. 
drop this one, select this, and I curve extract, right? Let's apply this and go to Angon and do some cutting for fun. Uh, maybe like this, this is a bit too thick. Let's make sure this is cut and this is cut. All right, and uh, select both of them and cut them here. And select this one and cut it in here. In fact, no, that's a little bit boring. Let's do this. That's better. And we need to run some cut here. So do this and uh, let's uh, go back to cut and select this and Strong trauma time bevel. That's the one I bevel, you son of a bitch. Okay, let's grab this one and local. Select this ones and just you know bevel a little bit. And there you go. And apply. Boom, done. Alright, cool. And uh, now here uh, we could uh, make this a bit thicker, so do something like this. Uh, whoops, one more time. Something like this and and do that and we're gonna select uh, this bit here maybe even cut it like this so we're gonna select this bit or even this bit yeah one more cut guys uh, here boom right so select this one and g um gx so you could move it outside like that or in fact we could extrude it and uh and combine it here um like this okay um, we could use another loop here um, and combine this to this one, okay? So, all right, awesome. It's a little bit too thick, so we're gonna make it a bit, you know, a bit skinnier. So select this one and GX and move it a little bit in. So it's not so dramatic and sharpen this, sharpen this one. And we're done. Cool, now let's grab another uh, box and uh, switch to cut and cut this one here uh, you know lattice boom right and sharpen uh, it's a bit too close it's a bit too close so let's cut it in here like this right? boom sharpen there you go now this uh, connection here is not too, uh, not no, no, not ideal, so we can actually switch it to this one. Select this, this, and you know simply remove them, and then uh, sharpen this one, and select this one, and the symmetry. Boom! Right. Okay, let's introduce some more interesting shapes here. This could be, in fact, um, a cut here like this. All right. So something like this, let's apply this and then let's grab this uh, bottom bit and uh, insert it a little bit, just the bottom bit. Come on, insert it a bit and extrude it down. And this will create an interesting shape. Uh, this one's gonna have to be marked, otherwise it's gonna be a disaster. Uh, we can introduce some interesting, you know, cuts in here just for fun. Uh, so sharp and it's it's not so straight slice it here like this with a knife and let's symmetrize it to the other side and select these in fact make it a bit smaller um, and this one smaller too maybe like this select this one and you know um, curve extract it up and sharpen this we could select these edges around so select these and this and this unsharpen them and bevel them okay and we could create you know uh, a circle here and it's going to get um, copied because it is you know um, it's mirrored um, something like this, maybe this is a little bit too thin, so a bit more like that, there you go. Uh, the, these connections are not ideal, but since it's a flat surface, we're gonna be fine. And uh, here could be, could have some terminals, so we could just, you know, extrude it a little bit further, sharpen this. Um, Control Q to face, and let's just make it a bit smaller. And maybe move it somewhere here. Um, like this and uh, go to end gone and switch to cut and you know do this and i think we're good and we're gonna move it outside like that 
and cut it here um, maybe like this sharpen this and one more time from the front uh, select both of them and inset a little bit extrude it scale it inset it and extrude it right and then let's just chamfer it and boom there's your screen this one could be connected here so um just just inset it inside and extrude it and you're done awesome and the front could have some um you know guard here so what we can do is um, draw another one another circle like this okay and grab this face and uh, just extrude it a little bit yeah there you go something like this and it's copied already good so what we need to do is now grab this bit here uh, up to here so from here to here and we're going to curve extract it like this press um, s to smooth it we're going to um, extrude it on x like that and you know submit not symmetrize it uh, mirror this to the other side there we go and on this side what we're going to do is move it somewhere here and move it uh, move it up here well not this side i mean this side there we go uh, move it here uh, one more time extrude it up here and extrude it on x cool let's uh, change it back to geo for sec for a second so um one more time and uh visual to mesh select these two let's uh bevel them like this and then uh mesh tools and come on mesh tools and curve extract and s control 2 awesome and you know move it somewhere here grab these buggers here and move them outside so gy move them here and there you go we could actually make it a bit more interesting so one more time x and alt a visual to mesh um, let's grab these um, so edges right and move them up and sort of move them move them out a little bit and then one more time select these uh, in fact merge these and match these select these two and bevel them like this go back to mesh tools and curve extract one more time s and uh, control 2 and mirror cool this one is a bit pinching here but uh, we can fix it very easily by simply uh, you know removing some of these uh, these dots remove vertices it should be fine still pinching so remove these two vertices and just space it out a bit you know um still pinching okay remove this one move this one a bit here you know and there you go sort it right just mirror this to the other side um we need to actually apply the visual to mesh and then mirror it. It's gonna work better. There you go. Okay. Now the the back, uh, you know, it's not doesn't really matter. We could just create some, you know, cuts here, like this, and uh, no difference. Um, sharpen this one and sharpen this one and uh, grab grab this geo here and move it up a bit. Um, so on the z-axis and flatten this a little bit so one more time select these two and flatten them and maybe chamfer them a little bit here like this and uh, create some kind of a cut here it's gonna be interesting boom and a box cut here like that For some reason, box cutters stop beveling. Don't know why, but there you go. Uh, create a cut here. Uh, let's go to view and do it again. And like I said, doesn't want to bevel, so we're gonna do it manually. Shift to live. Uh, select everything and 
battle it, and we're done. Alright guys, now the last thing I'm going to do is create a cut here. So, create a cut here, like this. And... Slice it in. Okay. And bevel this edge. So, edge and bevel. And this is a little bit too deep, so I'm going to move it outside a bit like that. Okay and sharpen this and should be fine and here we could create some kind of a you know i don't know uh some kind of a circle um and let's apply this and maybe scale it in um inside it a little bit and you know um, there you go so this would be our very simple uh, kind of uh, sci-fi design in a few minutes doesn't take long quick exercise guys uh, it's good to you know sometimes do something like this just for fun and uh, it doesn't take much time but you know it's really beneficial this could be actually um, could be some kind of a you know holding mechanism here like this uh, it's gonna probably look a bit better right box cutter and hard ups uh, links in the video description Grab them if you don't have them. Machine tools as well. Essential add-ons for modeling this thing. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video.